Hello everybody and welcome back to Build Bosporus. In this tutorial I will show you how to connect EVAP correctly on IVO network and how to use it. Before we connect on IVO network you have to make sure that you have turned off your engines and the parking brakes are set. Now press on Alt button and drop down menu will open up. Click on add-ons and scroll down to EVAP and go to right. It will say start EVAP. In this case I already started EVAP so it will not show that text. Just click on start EVAP. Now EVAP is shown on your screen. You can click and hold your mouse on it and you can drag it anywhere you want. Click on Agers and press send flight plan. Now the flight plan will open up. Just fill in all information you need for the flight and send it before you go online on IVO network. But we will later talk on how to fill in the flight plan with all details. Now send your flight plan by clicking on send FP. If you're using default EVAP bar, it will show you FP in green color. This means your flight plan has sent it. Go to EVAP bar and press on CON button. This means connect. Now another bar will open up before we go online. Fill in your call sign here, your real name here, your VID number with passport here, your aircraft type and airliner here. From here you can select your communication. You can either connect with text. Finally go to server and select the best server you want and press on connect button. Now you will hear a beep sound, that means that you are online and connected on IVAO network. On EVAP bar, below we can see four buttons. First one is FP, this means flight plan. Second one is FS, this means connection to your flight simulator. Third one is MP, this means multiplayer. Last one is NIT, this means network and it shows your network status on IVAO. Now go to Agers. You will see on the left side LTBA. You can get weather information at your departing airport by pressing on this button. You will see meter codes. We later talk about how we can define meter codes. To get weather information on your destination airport, press on Agers and go back. In this case we fly to Amsterdam, where the IKEA code is EHAM. Now press on EHAM and you will get weather information at your destination. Now click again on Agers and click on Request Edits. From here, we can see if there is a controller online around you. If there is a controller online, you have to connect with them before you're moving on the ground. Otherwise, it can cost your membership on IVO network. Be careful with doing this. Click on main button and we go back to home position. By pressing and holding Ctrl and F9 button, you can close your EVAP bar. And pressing again will show it on your screen. Press and hold CTRL and press F9 will show you TCAS screen. From here you can watch traffic around you. We use this button when we are ready for takeoff on the runway by setting it to TARA position. With this button we can zoom in or zoom out. Press again on this button to set your TCAS on standby. Click on TCAS button on EVAP and close the TCAS screen. To show up your pushback button, press on push button in EVAP. A pushback display will open up and you can make your choice for pushback. If you are ready for it, then press on pushback and when ready for the turn, then press start turn. Now we're closing the pushback screen by pressing on push button on EVAP. We can also send a message on Unicom by typing your message and pressing enter. Also sending a private message by typing in 
space call sign space and type your message and pressing enter will send a private message to a pilot or controller. This is the transponder button. When entering a runway, turn it to TX, which is we called a Charlie mode. When leaving a runway, turn it to left to standby mode. Be careful with using this knob because it's important to use this transponder mode for other traffic. When the button is on TX mode, it will appear a green light. This means that your transponder is on. When it is on standby mode, it will show a red light. This means your transponder is in standby mode. Finally, when you arrive to your destination, you park and shut down your engines. Turn off your connection on IVR network by pressing on connection button. There will appear another screen where it asks you if you are sure to disconnect from IVR network. Click yes, you will hear beeping sound that means you are now offline. So my friends, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please subscribe on my channel and like this video and for more tutorials please leave a comment on this video. I'll check it out and see you on the next video.